In this video, we will present the solution to question number two from practice exam two for math 2270. We are asked to compute the norm of 3u plus 2v minus w. So to begin with, we need to compute just this linear combination, 3u plus 2v minus w. I'm going to move this around to get a little bit more space on the screen. So if we take, if we compute that, that vector there, 3u plus 2v minus w, this is going to equal, we're going to multiply u by 3, so we get 6, 0, and negative 3. We're going to multiply v by 2, so we get negative 2, negative 2, plus 6. And then we're going to time, we're just going to subtract w, so we get minus 3, plus 1, and plus 2. So we then compute this value. Uh, this will give us 6 minus 5, which is 1. Uh, we're going to get 0 minus 2 plus 1, which is a negative 1. And then you're going to get 6 plus 2 is 8, minus 3 is 5. So this is the vector we need to take its length. Now when you compute the norm of a vector, remember this is equal to the square root of x dot x, which this turns out just to make it the square root of a of a bunch of uh, sum of squares, right? x1 squared plus x2 squared all the way down to xn squared. That's the basic formula here. Now be aware that if you are taking, uh, if you're taking complex numbers right here, you're actually gonna get a sum of the complex numbers, uh, the, the squares there. Uh, so for like example, if we took the length of the vector one plus two i and then three i, you know, something like that, in that situation, you're gonna get the square root of one squared plus two squared plus three squared. So you're gonna take the sum of all of the, both the real part and imaginary parts separately. Now in this vector, in this problem, we just have a real vector, so we don't have to worry about that. The length, the length of the vector, this is gonna be the square root of, we're gonna get one squared plus one squared plus five squared. Five squared is 25, you're gonna add, uh, you're gonna add two to that. So we get the square root of 27 which I don't see that on the list, but that's because 27 can be factored as nine times three, where nine's a perfect square. So this becomes three root three, and this would then tell us the correct answer is D.